What calls on my fellow knights? Today I'm here with another Sun and Moon video, but instead of covering information, which we have pretty much none to talk about, um, I'm gonna discuss a theory that not a lot of people know. Or I may have just come up with this, who knows. I didn't check because I really didn't care. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people have realized this and they just don't post videos about it, so here I am. So, the theory involves the starter Pokemon. Now, I, I've been watching a lot of people's videos as of late, and I've started to notice a lot of things that people have been saying. So it makes me believe that the starters are going to be based off a of circus, like circus animals, I guess, performing circus animals. So let me explain this. The obvious candidate is Poplio. I mean, he's balancing uh, balls of, I guess not balls, bubbles of water on his nose and he's bouncing on them. Kind of like how a sea lion would do in a circus where he's like, I don't know, just running around on a ball and then picking it up with his nose, balancing it and then honking the little horns to make a song. Pretty much that's what he is, like his design is pretty much based around it, like he has a little frilly thing that sea lions would wear in the circus. I guess his nose does kind of look like one of the horns, so that makes total sense. Now, we're going to move on to Litten. Now how does Litten fit into this? Well if Litten's evolution line actually does go to a tiger, uh, in the circus sometimes tigers will jump through rings of fire. So that explains why Litten is fire type. And then, I guess just fire lion, maybe they'll be like, maybe he'll have like rings of fire around his neck or something. That'd be kind of cool when he evolves. I mean, the fan art's just gone nuts. I'm like, I'm looking at all this and it's just beautiful. But how does uh, Rowlet fit into this as well? Um, Rowlet fits into this kind of weirdly. I'm thinking he's the ringmaster. I mean, he has the little bow tie of gra the grass or the leaf bow tie already, which is pretty cool. And I kind of it signifies like, like why why is that there? I feel like his evolutions are gonna be based off of the tie. Like maybe he'll get like some kind of a uh, pattern to indicate a vest with the bow tie or something. I don't know, but Rowlet I think is the ringleader. Uh, Poplio is the performing sea lion. And then you have Litten jumping through rings of fire. However, I want to take this a step further, which a lot of people I don't think have noticed either. Now, this involves the legendary Pokemon. And this might sound really, really ridiculous, so I'm going to start with, uh, I guess, the Sun Legendary. Do I call him Sogaleo? We might as well for now. So, we're going to call him Sogaleo, and in, uh, in circuses, um, there's usually some guy who's a lion tamer. Like, with a whip and stuff, so I guess Sogaleo kind of fits into there as well. And then how the hell do we get Lunala in there? Well, I think Lunala is there to represent acrobatics. Which, I guess that's kind of weird. But it, when you think about it, it makes sense. It's a, it's a flying Pokemon, and it's pretty much a bat. And it, it's basically an aerial bat, so acrobatics. I guess that sounds really weird, but it kind of works. And the... And my throat. My throat. <sighs> okay, try again. Um, so... In Gen 6, okay? There was a trend with the starters' evolutions there. They were all based off RPG player classes. Chestnut being a, a paladin. Then you had um, Delphox, like, as a mage or warlock, I guess. And then you had Greninja, which is a ninja or a thief, whatever you want to look at it. So it makes me believe that they're going to do a similar trend with the Sun and Moon starters. 
And I honestly think that's going to be pretty interesting, as long as they do it right. So, hopefully this means Litten will stay on four legs if they go with this trend. And, um, Poplio will not become a clown, because I feel like that's going to turn a lot of people away if, if Poplio just becomes a clown. Like, I'm starting to like Poplio a lot more, except... I just hope his evolutions do not make him worse. And also, the theory gone around that they found the secondary typings for the final for the other two starters being uh, fire, ground, and water fighting. I really do not see it at all. This theory just kind of like counteracts that completely. I feel like Litten would either stay pure fire or go part dark, and then uh, Poplio. He can stay pure water, maybe go psychic or fairy. One of the two, but I, I really do not see fighting in ground with them. Maybe they got it backwards and it's supposed to be firefighting and water ground for some reason. That'd piss a lot of people off, including me, because we don't need another firefighting starter after Embor. If you made Embor look cooler, I think we would have let that slide, but it didn't. So yeah, guys, if you've never heard this theory before, there you go. So that's going to wrap it up. Quick video, quick theory, and shit, I guess. So yeah, when more information about Sun and Moon or something else I want to talk about comes up, we'll just do it. So until next time, friend cowards in the description. Bye.